Hello my dear students. My name is Hitesh Babal. Today we are going to study the poem A Photograph written by Shelley Thompson. After reading this poem, I'm sure you will feel that this poem is very simple and easy to understand. Now let us move to the introduction of the poem. The poem A Photograph is written by Shelley Thompson. In this poem, she recalls her mother and her memories by looking at her childhood photograph when her mother was 12 years old or so. She has been deceased 12 years ago and she cannot explain her grief on her mother's loss. Deceased means death, that she died 12 years ago. Now let us move to line to line explanation of the poem. Let us read these lines. The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling, each one holding one of my mother's hand, and she the big girl some 12 years or so. Now here there is a word paddling which means, you can see here, walking. Now let us begin with the line to line explanation of the poem. The cardboard shows me how it was. Here, the word cardboard is used in place of the word photograph. In olden times, people actually used to paste photographs on the cardboard. That's why this uh, word cardboard is used in place of photograph. There is an, another reason also. Uh, at present, uh, the photograph has become a piece of paper and a cardboard for the poetess after the death of the poet's mother. So that photograph shows me, me over here is the poet. It shows the poet that how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling. Paddling here means walking. They were walking on the seaside. So these two girls were the cousins of poet's mother. Each one holding one of my mother's hand. This means both of them were holding the mother's hand. One has holded the right hand, the other one has holded the left hand. And she, the big girl, some 12 years or so. Now here she means poet's mother. She is around 12 years or maybe old, older than uh, 12 and she was the eldest among the two cousins. Uh, so this was all there in that photograph which was taken at the time. Now let us read line number 5 to line number 9. All three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera, a sweet face, my mother's that was before I was born, and the sea which appears to have changed less, washed their terribly transient feet. Here, transient means short term, something which is temporary, which is going to change. All three stood still. This means, over here, three means the poet's mother and her two cousins stood still. They were not moving at all to smile through their hair. They were smiling through their hair. That means the weather was windy, wind was blowing, hair was coming on their face and they were smiling at the time at the uncle with the camera that means they were smiling at the uncle who was clicking or taking their photograph with a camera then poetess says a sweet face my mother's that means she's saying that that sweet face was of her mother that was before i was born that means poetess is telling the story or telling about the photograph which was 
showing her mother's beautiful face and it was of that time when she was not born. The poetess says, And the sea which appears to have changed less. That means the poetess wants to tell us that the sea is appearing as if it has not changed at all or the change is very very less. That means the poetess wants to give us the message that the nature does not change much. The nature is immortal. And this sea washed their terribly transient field. That means that sea, sea is washing the feet of these girls. Who are these girls? The poetess mother and her two cousins. Transient, transient means here that those things which are temporary, those things which are short-lived. So here the feet are short-lived and feet is actually denoting the whole body over here. So we can say that the poetess want to tell us that nature is always immortal like the sea has not changed much but on the other hand human beings are mortal and they are short lived. Now let us read the line number 10 to 13. Some 20-30 years later she would laugh at the snapshot, see Betty and Dolly, she would say and look how they dressed us for the beach, the sea holiday. Here the word snapshot means the photograph. Here the poetess is saying that when that photograph was clicked, after that some 20 or 30 years, means at that time when the photograph was clicked, poetess mother was of 12 years age and after that 20 and 30 years have been passed. And now what will be the age of poetess mother? It will be around 32 or 42. So at this time she would laugh at the snapshot. Means after these many years she is looking at the snapshot, at the photograph after attaining an age of 32 or 42 years age and she is laughing. See Betty and Dolly, she would say and look how they dressed us for the beach. So this was the reason of poet's mother's laugh. She is saying that it was very funny the way Betty and Dolly and she herself was dressed by their parents. Here, how they dressed up. Who is they were parents of poet's mother and parents of Betty and Dolly. Now let us read line number 14 and 15. Was her past, mine is her laughter, both dry with the labored ease of loss. A rai means something which is ironic or something which is mocking. So in these two lines, uh, the poet actually recalls that the sea holiday was her mother's favorite moment from the past. While the poet's own favorite moment from the past was her mother's laughter. Now both uh, the women would think about these past memories which they cannot live again. So they try to do their best to adjust to what they have lost. Now here once again we read it labored ease of loss. That means both the poet and her mother labored. That means they worked hard to ease, to show the comfort on their face and why they were pretending the comfort on their face because they have lost something and what was the thing which they have lost it is that 
mother has lost her childhood and the poetess has lost her own mother because her mother is no more. Now let us read the last few lines of the poem. Now she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived and of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all. It's silence silences. Silences over here means a complete absence of sound. Now here the poetess is saying she has been dead. She over here means poetess mother. She, poetess mother is dead nearly as many years as that girl lived. Now here we are talking about the girl which was there who was there in the photograph so the age of that girl was at that time in the photograph was of 12 years so almost 12 years have been passed that poetess mother is dead and of this circumstance here circumstance means poetess mother's death so after her mother's death poetess is saying there is nothing to say at all that means she's saying that she has no words to explain how that death of her mother has actually affected her it's silence silences so the fact that the death has silenced her mother has also left her speechless so there is a complete absence of sound so this was the explanation of the poem. I think you all have understood the poem in detail. Till then we will be meeting in the next video with the poetic devices and the question answers of the poem. Thank you.